The most common frustration I hear from an older person trying to age in place is that they feel isolated or unconnected or you know, that person never got back to me or I just can't do that on my own and there's no one else to do it. And, and this is a, a problem we confront all the time and Grand Oaks fills that gap on a five-star level. I've referred many patients to Grand Oaks over the years now. Many of them have become and remain long-term residents. Uh, also though, sometimes folks come for short-term rehab stays or respite stays when they're recovering from a recent acute illness. Uh, I think it's a great place to be. For me, it's a great place to visit and it makes it easier for me to do my job well. Uh, for the residents, they often comment on how convenient it is to keep all the medical appointments. They are able to find the physicians they need right here on campus. So without even having to go outside, uh, which means a lot in January. When a patient of yours is reaching an age or a level of infirmity, when they might need a place like Grand Oaks, uh, I think you need to focus on doing the ordinary things extraordinarily well. I'm just making sure they don't fall, or I'm making sure that we've got the medications right. These are simple everyday things uh, that, if not done carefully, can be disastrous for that person. They have an excellent Dr. Beth Abate, who's a, who's a wonderful clinician and a wonderful communicator. I feel like there's always someone who can take my call, answer my concern, look into what, I, what we need to do or what we're worried about. Uh, I feel like I have you know, a great set of eyes here all the time. Uh, every person who works here, as I walk through the halls, I notice they all know every resident by name. There's a, a friendliness and a communicative spirit amongst the staff. And, and so when a patient has a crisis and ends up in the ER, uh, those relationships make a big difference. I'm always so impressed that when a patient does move to Grand Oaks, it's not just the medical transition, but the social transition that they do as well. They need to meet people. Uh, who are your neighbors? Uh, what's going on here at 4 p.m. that's fun? And these are things that their Grand Oaks sees to that, that I, as the physician, do not need to worry about. Um, and that all translates into the right initial experience that's going to lead to success for the patient for the long term. The overall experience, uh, the, the medicine side of the experience is just one part. The, the facility's location near other downtown attractions, near other physicians, near other services matters a lot. But having a staff that embarks uh, on the mission of delivering a great transition is also gonna deliver a great experience uh, for years to come.